Did you ever try breathing underwater? It is immensely difficult to breathe underwater. So what is breathing? Breathing is a mechanical process of inhaling and exhaling air. Now, the Earth's atmosphere is made up of a mixture of gases. It contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases like water vapor. And it has a fixed percentage in the atmosphere. Like nitrogen has a percentage of 78%, carbon dioxide has a percentage of 0.03%, oxygen is approximately about 21% in the atmosphere and the other gases together form about 0.94 percentage in the air. So this is the air that we are breathing in. This is the percentage of the various gases present in the air that we breathe in. Now notice the percentage of oxygen is 20.95% whereas the percentage of carbon dioxide is 0.03%. Now this is the percentage of gases in the air that we are breathing out. Carefully notice the percentages of oxygen and carbon dioxide. See, the percentage of oxygen has decreased from 20.95% to 15.3% and the percentage of carbon dioxide has increased from 0.03% to 4.2%. So now due to expiration, the percentage of carbon dioxide should have gone up and the percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere should have gone down. But that does not happen, right? Now, how is this balance maintained? Well, let us find out. Well, this balance is maintained by green plants because of the presence of a special plastid known as chloroplastid. These chloroplastids, they absorb sunlight and together with carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil, manufacture food and give out oxygen by the process of photosynthesis. So because of photosynthesis, this balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide is maintained in the atmosphere. See, the oxygen that is produced during the process of photosynthesis by plants is in turn taken by man when we are breathing in and man gives out air rich in carbon dioxide which is again taken by the plants for the process of photosynthesis through which green plants can manufacture food. So the percentage of oxygen in the air that we breathe in is more and the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air that we breathe out is more. So commonly we say that we inhale oxygen and we exhale or we breathe out carbon dioxide. So these are two mechanical processes. The inhaling or breathing in of oxygen is known as inspiration and the breathing out or the exhaling of carbon dioxide is known as expiration. So how is this oxygen that we are breathing in getting converted to carbon dioxide? Well, let us look into the cellular level. Let us see what is happening inside the cells. See, this is a cell. The oxygen that we breathe in 
comes to the cell and gets converted to carbon dioxide and energy and this carbon dioxide we exhale out so this entire process that happened within the cell that is the conversion from oxygen to carbon dioxide is known as internal respiration and internal respiration in turn gives rise to external respiration the carbon dioxide that was produced by the cell is in turn breathed out through our nose by the process of external respiration so why does our chest rise and fall during respiration see the chest is rising and then falling again and then rising again so this process continues so why does it happen well this is because the main organ that helps us in breathing is known as the lungs this lung is a elastic balloon like structure which inflates when we breathe in air and deflates when we breathe out air so we breathe in oxygen now while breathing in oxygen the lungs get inflated and then there is gaseous exchange that takes place in the lungs oxygen from the air in the lungs mix with the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood comes to the lungs and is finally eliminated out now can you tell me what is the source of carbon dioxide in the body well we have already discussed about cellular respiration where oxygen gets converted into carbon dioxide now this carbon dioxide from the body is brought back to the lungs via the blood now this air since it contains greater percentage of carbon dioxide with respect to inhaled air is expelled out of the lungs and therefore the lungs become deflated now why do we yawn when we feel sleepy well we yawn so that we can forcefully take in a lot of oxygen in our body oxygen provides energy inside the cell the oxygen that we breathe in gets converted inside our cell to form carbon dioxide and atp which is the energy currency of the cell so this is our body's mechanism to keep us active when we fall sleepy